Uh, today we're going to talk about the EPA 608 refrigeration license. EPA standing for Environmental Protection Agency. Uh, basically, it's a refrigeration license that you have to get. It's your 608 and you have to take a test for it that is comprised of core type 1, type 2, type 3. The EPA requires this because you have to know how to handle refrigerant and you can't release it into the atmosphere because the chlorine in traditional refrigerants like HFC, CFC, and HDFC, which we'll talk about in a minute, can go up to the ozone layer and kill oxygen atoms and basically create holes in the ozone layer letting ultraviolet rays in. So the EPA came up with a test that states if you take this test and you pass this test, then you understand that if you release refrigerant into the atmosphere, you're destroying the ozone layer and therefore it makes you liable. And if you're liable, then that means that you can be fined, you can lose your refrigeration license, you can go to jail, and if anyone chooses to turn in someone that's releasing refrigerant into the atmosphere, they can receive a reward for doing so. If you want to be in the HVAC field, and handle refrigerant, which means putting refrigerant into a system, taking refrigerant out, you must have an EPA 608. In no way, shape, or form does it mean that if you have this, that you are an HVAC tech. I want to really stress that. What it means is that you have a license that says that you know how to carry refrigerant, handle it, and you should not be releasing it into the atmosphere. But it doesn't mean that you understand exactly how a system works. It doesn't mean that you understand all the repairs that you have to do. It means that you can handle refrigerant. So, when you go to take the test, you have four parts to this test. Core, core is your basic knowledge. Once you study for that and you take core and you pass it, you do not have a 608 license. That's just saying that you're ready. You're ready to take type one, type two, and type three. You have to pass core in order to be able to get certified in type one, type two, or type three. If you took type one and you passed it and never passed core, you will not get your 608 license. Type one is handling small amounts of refrigeration, like small units, like window units, things that are generally sealed. Type 1 is not going to get you into heavy residential or commercial. It's light usage. Type 2, think of it more as residential. You're working at a condenser outside. You're taking refrigerant in and out. That's going to relate right there. So it's kind of the medium range of refrigerant usage. Type 3 means that you're working at a commercial type units, large, large amounts of refrigeration, I'm talking about 50 pounds, 100 pounds of refrigerant that you could be putting in the systems. If you pass core type one, type two, type three, then you get what's called a universal license. That's the license you want. That means that when you go to an employer, you can give them that card and it will show that they can place you anywhere. This is key in order to be able to be an HVAC tech. And once you get this license right now, and I say right now because things are always changing with the rules from the EPA, but right now it's for life. But there are talks that this may become something that every five years you have to go and retest. But as of right now, if you take your EPA 608 refrigeration tests and you pass your core type 1, type 2, and type 3, then you will get your universal license.